hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy jim graphics in today's video i'll be teaching you guys how to remove an image background in Corel draw this is a requested video from a subscriber if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button below and turn on the bell icon in order not to miss my future uploads so the picture i'm going to be using for this tutorial is this which is drag i'm sure he's not aware of this and um so let's get straight to it. First of all, I will recommend you to always use Photoshop to remove your background because Photoshop is actually um, easy and kind of it has some features which you would like to use. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to be using Corel Draw. So um, to achieve this, the first thing you're going to do is use your Shape 2. Shape 2 is the tool which I'll be using to remove this background. You can as well use your pen tool to achieve this but for the sake of this tutorial I'll be using my shape tool. So select your shape tool under your tools bar this way and click on this. This node will appear. You'll see a node over here, over here and over here. Alright guys so to remove this background the first thing I'm going to do is after selecting your shape tool, you see this line over here. Place a node by double clicking on the line this way. Once you double click on it, this will appear. Now select it and drag over here to attack. Then place another one, bring it here. Then right click on it. Select convert to curve, then drag it out. Then the good thing about this is once you don't have a good shape of the image, then what you're going to do is select this, uh, this node and this arrow will appear. With that you can adjust this way. Alright, so continuously, this is what you're going to do. Just add nodes. And here you go. Place another node and drag it over here. Right click on it, convert to curve. And once you convert to curve, this arrow will appear. You can as well drag this way and drag this one this way. You can use it to adjust this way. Alright, so bring this down. Place another node and drag over here. Convert to curve and drag it out. Then place it very well. Then place another node over here to get this part. You can use your arrow to adjust it this way. Place another one, drag it out to C, then place it over here. Right click, convert to curve, drag out and place it. So it's very simple. All you need to do is practice you might not get it the first time but once you're practicing you're going to get it so drag out and place it over here convert to curve place this over here so as you can see guys the background is fading out place a node place it over here right click and convert to curve then drag it out bring it in then use your arrow to adjust it to fit in the image All right so same thing over here add a node and drag convert to curve and remove and place it here Alright, so as I said earlier, you can also use your pen tool to achieve this. So after this, I'm going to show you how to use your pen tool 
to achieve this so i think that will be the next video it will be a video of its own for this tutorial we are using our shape to convert to curve and place over here all right guys so if you actually don't want to convert to curve using your right click you can as well just select this and you will see it over here convert to curve on your property bar then drag out as i said earlier guys i recommend you using photoshop to remove your background of your image but you can use any software which is suitable for you but for me i use photoshop to remove my background once i'm about to design place a knot and drag this this way right click and um, convert to curve this yes. take it out and place it over here now you can delete this node and this node All right guys so this is what you're going to have as you can see Alright guys, so as you can see this is before and this is this is before and this is after removing the background. So as you can see guys we have like it's transparent, we don't have a background on it. So this is how to remove a picture or image background in Corel Draw. It's very simple and it's quite easy to use. So for the sake of using pen tool that will be another video of its own you can use pen tool to achieve what i just used my shape tool to do so i don't often use this sometimes i use as most times i use photoshop to remove the background of my image if you have any question if you're confused in any way please don't forget to drop me a comment down below and guys like this video share it with your friends and let me know what you guys think about this video Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.